Spirit, short mode review. The Spirit is a seemingly invulnerable hero. He works with the police to bring down as many criminals as he can. His nemesis is the octopus, who deals drugs, I think. It's referenced like once or twice, and yeah, I suppose that's about what we really know about the octopus. He claims to have eight of everything, but that's a big fat lie. And if pretty much anything else that you find out about the octopus and the spirit is revealed very late in the film, so it would really count as spoilers for me to give it away. And this has an old ex-girlfriend of the spirit returning, looking for the shiny thing to end all shiny things. This movie fails on just about every level. It, try, it, it emulates the style, the visual style of Sin City, but where that fit extremely well, since it was basically putting the comic pages up on the screen, here it just feels, you know, kind of like a retread. It, it wasn't really necessary. You know, I mean, this isn't the... Sin City was not the first Frank Miller adaptation, or at least... Whatever. It wasn't the only Frank Miller adaptation. You know, we also have two, 300. Yeah. And that looks very different from Sin City, so I don't know why they didn't just go for a third style. And this isn't even a Frank Miller adaptation. It's an adaptation by Frank Miller. You know, completely different. And Frank Miller cannot direct. At least not at this stage in his career. And I'm not sure he shows enough promise to pursue this particular endeavor. At one point, as stage direction, he apparently told the villain and his right-hand woman, played by Scarlett Johansson, to walk back and forth, passing each other. That's it. Over and over in the scene, which goes on for at least a couple minutes, they just walk back and forth. That's it. The spirit himself is apparently unkillable, but which makes him really hard to relate to, but we don't really know if he truly is and if he does or if he does have some weakness, so it does kind of take away the tension from most of the scenes where he's potentially in danger. And the film doesn't even have that much action to begin with, and most of it's quite bad. Pretty much every woman is just eye candy, well, really. Yeah, pretty much every woman in this is just eye candy and objectified just extremely. And they're not even like moderately interesting characters this time. You know, in Sin City at least, they, you know, you can kind of get into some of the characters. And the way everything is apparently a woman. <sighs> Death is a woman in this film who tries to lure the spirit in with her embrace. And the city itself is apparently a woman, and the spirit poorly and incessantly narrates about how the city is a woman. And it makes less and less sense with each sentence, each comparison between the city and an actual woman. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.